What's up YouTube, Jeff Becky again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get custom ringtones, notification sounds in your Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's not so easy to do it by default on the Samsung phones now, but uh, with a little bit of work, it's easy to find the folder you need to get the sounds you want for both your ringtone and your notification sounds. Uh, before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan. We've got some dinosaurs to hang out as always. We've got the Brachiosaurus and the Inosaurus. We always appreciate my three-year-old son for giving a son in the video. I also want to remind you guys about my partners over at Mint Mobile. If you want to save some money on your wireless service, Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. They also have a number of different plans to fit your particular data needs. They got a five gigabyte a month plan for 15 a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month. They've got the 20 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month and an unlimited plan for $30 a month with 40 gigabytes of 5G, 4G LTE data. All their plans come unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. One thing I love about Mint is you can get their physical SIM, or if you're traveling, you're not at home, you need a SIM right now while you're traveling, get an eSIM so you don't have to be home to receive the physical SIM. But if you do need a physical SIM, they'll send you out a physical SIM with a SIM tool, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, let the savings begin. I've been using them here in the Phoenix, Arizona area for over 15 months we've been with Mint. Love the service, save a ton of money over the big carriers as well. If you guys wanna get in on the savings, Go to trimintmobile.com slash springer today. It's also in the pinned comment description. Sign up, experience it. Let me know how you guys like it. I know you're going to love it. Trimintmobile.com slash springer to sign up. Again, it's also in the pinned comment description. We do appreciate men for being partners with the channel. So let's get right into it. Custom ringtones, notification sounds, things of that general nature. Uh, if you go into your sounds and vibration settings inside the Samsung settings, you have ringtone notification sound. Now, if you scroll through the list, you'll see there's a bunch of different sounds you can get. Samsung has some branded ones. There's some default Galaxy ones and Calm and a couple other themes, but none of these give you the option to upload your own custom ringtone. And the same thing also goes for the notification sound over here. You've got some default ones, Samsung branded, Galaxy, Calm, all the same sort of options for the most part. And of course you can choose your vibration pattern, your volume, all that stuff. But what if you want your own custom sound You've got a song you like, you've got a sound you created, you want that as your ringtone, you want as a notification sound for your various application notifications. So you can do that very simply. All you have to do is somehow get the file on your device. I recommend using a cloud service, something like that. I have Google Drive here, which I'm going to use. I have a MP3 that I wanna use as my ringtone slash notification sound called House Call MP3. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and download this from my Google Drive. So that it will now be in the downloads folder on my Galaxy S24 Ultra. Once it's in the downloads folder on your Galaxy S24 Ultra, what you're gonna do is go into the Samsung My Files application right here. And once it's you're inside the Miles My Files application, obviously you're gonna to go to downloads. When you go into downloads, you'll see I've already downloaded this twice. What you could do is go ahead and long press on it. Down here at the bottom, there'll be an option that says move. And you'll notice this little icon here, one item. This is telling you you're moving one item and it shows you the type. It's got the little music icon. So you can see that as you move around the UI, you can find where you wanna move it to. Now the folder we wanna move it to is called notification. So come up here to the top and start searching, start typing the word notifications. Now you'll see right here, notifications, I can tap on it and you can see this has already got a sound called cha-ching, which I also have as a custom notification sound. It's basically like a dollar, you know, cha-ching kind of sound for money. Um, and once you get here, just go ahead and paste it. You do this by moving, tapping move here. And it's gonna move your house call summer MP3 um, that you put there. And that's now gonna be in the notification folder. So then when you go back to your sounds and vibrations and also inside your notification sound, you can see how call summer right there is listed inside the notification sound. To get the same sound or a similar sound in your ringtones list, what you're gonna do is go back to your downloads folder highlight this MP3 or any MP3 that you want, go to move again, go back here to the list, go to the top and search. This time you're going to search for ringtones, find the ringtones folder, tap on that. And once again, repeat the process to move the file there. So now if we go back into my settings, you'll notice that under sounds and vibrations, if we go to ringtone, now we've got house call summer one MP3 right there we can utilize that as a ringtone and a notification sound because we moved it into both of those appropriate folders. So the big takeaway from this video is if you want to have a custom notification sound or a custom ringtone, you need to download the file onto your device. 
Get it on there however you can using a cloud service if you already have the MP3. Go into your My Files app, copy and move the file to both the notification sound or and or the ringtones folder, depending on which of those you want. If you want the same sound in both, you can do that, move it to both folders and it will appear there as you guys saw in the video. Now, if you're looking for the ability to set a different sound for each of your apps, that is a little bit harder on Samsung devices. Samsung really makes that tough. I have a full video on that, it's quite a bit longer. It's not super hard, but it's a longer process. I'll drop the link below if you guys wanna check that out to get separate sounds for each individual app, like your messaging, Twitter, Facebook, etc. That'll be below in the description if you wanna watch that video. Appreciate you guys checking this out. Again, if you wanna save some money on your wireless service, check out my partners at Mint Mobile. Try mintmobile.com slash springer today to save. Also in the pinned comment description. I appreciate men for being partners for this channel. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.